Now let's talk about the replication bubble. Before we can actually form a replication bubble, we need a very important enzyme. And this enzyme is called DNA helicase. DNA helicase will often sit on the lagging strand It will support the unwinding of DNA to further the creation of a replication bubble upstream and downstream. Ironically, you can think of helicase like a zipper because it unzips the genes. In addition to this, there's a few more important proteins that we don't think about a lot. These are called single-strand binding proteins. Single-strand binding proteins will bind to each individual strand, as hints in their name, and they will keep the strands from coming back together. And thus, they allow replication to happen within the replication bubble. Now that we think about the replication bubble, we have to think about an important factor. You can't start replicating DNA without an origin of replication. And once you have an origin of replication, you can't start without a 3' prime hydroxyl group. And so thus, we need a special thing called a primer. A primer is a molecule of RNA that allows the enzymatic machinery to both overcome the lack of a free 3' prime hydroxyl group and also hold on to the growing strand as we start replication. We have two types of replication in a replication bubble. We can have continuous replication as seen on the leading strand, or we can have discontinuous replication as seen on the lagging strand. In discontinuous replication, we have an issue. And that issue is that we don't have free 3' prime hydroxyl groups. Because if we look at this strand, this strand is 3'. Prime, and so thus, the end that's coming away from it is 5'. Prime. Because the direction of replication is moving this way, replication on the lagging strand has to move away from the direction of replication. And so it is both slower and it's more difficult. And it implies that the DNA replicating machinery must replicate and then jump back to replicate another strand. This means that we have disconnected fragments of DNA on the lagging strand as opposed to continuous strands. And so we need an enzyme to connect these discontinuities. The enzyme that corrects this is called DNA ligase. DNA ligase joins these Okazaki fragments together and forms continuous strands of DNA. DNA ligase is also used between the junction of a discontinuous strand and a continuous strand, so we have one full, long, continuous strand of DNA. An important enzyme present in prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells is called DNA primase. DNA primase is a molecule that sets RNA primers. It usually forms a complex with helicase on the lagging strand. Now, why would we want primase to be on the lagging strand? Think about where are we making more primers? Are we making more primers on the leading strand or the lagging strand? The answer is always going to be the lagging strand because we're constantly making a primer and then backtracking our DNA polymerase to continue making those Okazaki fragments so that ligase can join them together. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what genetics class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are currently enrolled as a Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu. tutoring You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online through Navigate, or just drop in during our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.